Well guys, I have got an absolute doozy of a law-friendly car to show you today because it's one that I hadn't really considered would have been in GTA 5 and yet now that it's here it makes complete and utter sense. It's this. This is the Fista Stardust which as you can probably tell is based on the Porsche 928. It does look almost like as if this is just a Porsche 928 mod. There are some subtle differences that I could probably not point out because I don't know about these cars that in depth. It even has its own Teledyne wheels as well. Again, a wheel that I do really like. So here it is in all of its glory. Here's the interior. Very cool interior. I don't think this is purpose made for this car. This looks like it's come out of something else. I could be wrong. But it looks like it's from something else. So here we have, under the bonnet, we do have an engine. It is an engine. Nothing too crazy, just the top part is going to be uh, 3D modelled. Everything else is just regular old 2D modelled, that's fine. Well, we have the back end as well, this big boot. I say big, it's not, it's not deep, it's just big in a way. <laughs> I don't know what you can really fit in here. Maybe like a, a, a bag that's just laid down with all of the contents just sort of strewn along the back. It's not really much of a boot at all. Wouldn't want to sit in the back either. Doesn't look fun. Although with this up, it kind of makes me think this would look really cool if the seats were set back a bit and this just came out. So it was kind of like a, like a half pickup thing where this back is like a convertible. I think that'd be kind of fun. So we have the doors here, nothing too crazy. And then we have our interior. That's pretty much it. Let's just have a look at the parts for this thing. So to start, we have the spoiler. We have some options. We have the nothing, the nice smooth bit, which I do quite like. We have the integrated spoiler, which I also like. We also have this, the sport spoiler, and then we have the classic spoiler. Oh, that might be it. I quite like this. I like the rubbery feel of it. It does sort of fit in with the 80s. Well, I mean, the car's from the 80s. It fits in with the fact it looks like it's from the 80s. Uh, I, I, Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do a couple of builds so I'm gonna go with the classic spoiler first But we'll try out a different combo next on the front bumper. We do have some options. We've got the stock We've got the sport which basically just gives us a slatted grill down the bottom We have the facelift which basically takes the stock bumper and adds two little extra bits along the side Then we have the facelift sport. We then have the vented which adds the vent here I do quite like how that one looks. I guess we're also gonna have that sport with that and then the full kit and caboodle. I think that's the one to go for. I don't really want to go for the vented bit at the bottom, especially because we've got a lot of Moira effect going on here. Maybe by the time this gets onto YouTube, you won't see it, but there's definitely a bit of a Moira effect just because of uh, lots of lines happening in one point. So actually, I'm going to keep that just like that. I think it looks great, especially as you can compare it to that. I do like this extra vent thing here, but yeah, we'll go for that. On the rear bumper, we have the stock. We have this, which basically removes those really god-awful rubbery bits. I mean, it does match with the spoiler somewhat, but I'm going to go with no. Not really a fan. Then we have the Euro plate, which makes this plate look even more fitting. And then, it, whoa, okay, even more fitting, of course, because it's a UK registration. Um, <laughs> should I just keep it like that? I'm going to keep it like that. I mean, I don't think we needed the fist a bit on the side. It would have been nice if we could have just had that clear. And uh, maybe a different yellow because the yellow is kind of a bit uh, green almost. But yeah, that's quite fun being able to have that. And as we're not really in San Andreas, sort of, kind of, we're supposed to be somewhere else. I'm, I'm just going to accept that this is, I, I don't know. I, I came here because it was supposed to be like it was South America. I guess you get that vibe. So I think that fits in perfectly. Exhaust only has one option other than the stock and that is basically just some chrome tips. And I think that looks way better than that awful textured black one. So we'll keep that. Chassis is removed trim, which is gonna be just that bit on the side, I think. Yeah, it seems to be just that bit on the side. Do we want that to be super smooth or do we want that extra line? Does that extra line make it look sporty or not? Actually, I do quite like it without. Yeah, I prefer it without. We'll keep it off. On the bonnet, we have the stock. We have the twin stripes, which don't do anything. And then we have the offset intake, which I think... Because here's the thing. The Porsche 928 is featured on Top Gear twice. It was in the Porsche challenge thing that they did. And then also the one where they, where they went to South America. And I'm pretty sure that is the vent that ended up on the 928 when they modified it in the Porsche challenge. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do a build on that if that is what that's from. 
I don't know what the twin stripes is, so I'm just going to keep it stock. Then on the roof, we have the stock. We have a plastic roof spoiler, which again does go with that plastic bit at the back, but it might be just a bit too much rubbery plastic. Or we have that painted, which I think does a better job. I think that fits in better. It doesn't stick out as much, which I think looks better. So we'll go for painted roof spoiler. We'll upgrade the engine, the brakes, the transmission, all of that stuff. What sort of suspension drops can we get? Barely anything. We don't have any extras. We can add a turbo though, of course. So we do have some extra stuff as well. On the plates, we have a front plate, just an American front plate, or a Euro front plate. Well, I guess we're going for that. Seems we went for that, although it does hide that grill bit a bit. I kind of wished it was uh, sort of hanging down from a, a holder here, perhaps, but yeah, fine. Then we have a OEM splitter option, so we can get a bit more on this front end as well. There's also an aftermarket splitter. Not not crazy difference, just a little different. And then we have a facelift splitter, which just adds this sort of like... A, uh, <laughs> it looks like an Amish mutton chop and beard look. I don't really like that. It <laughs> the way it just kind of up ticks at the side, it does end up looking like mutton chops and a beard. <laughs> I don't like that at all. It does make it look Amish for some reason. Uh, I'm just going to go with the aftermarket splitter, I think, on that. On the doors, we have some options of the stock. The tartan door cards, the striped door cards, or the checker door cards. And I'm pretty sure they did have checker ones on the original, so I'm going to go for that. And I guess we're going to go matching on the seats as well, because we have the stock. And by the way, the texturing is actually quite nice on this, on, at least on the seats. So we have the tartan seats, the striped seats... And the checker seats, I'm going to go for the checker seats, get that all matching. Now it definitely looks like a 928 a lot more, I think. Because I've definitely, maybe this was from a different Porsche, maybe it was from the 928, but I've definitely seen an 80s Porsche with this sort of checkerboard style pattern. We then have some plaques. What's that going to be? Oh, right. <laughs> That's the, the oh no. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll leave that off. And then we have the sticker bomb mirrors if you have absolutely no taste. Well, that's all the parts. I will say I was kind of hoping that there might have been a couple of liveries because I was kind of expecting there to be a livery that would have had like the blue with the matte black bonnet and uh, the sort of the flames up the side and then I would like the one that is in the Top Gear um, Porsche challenge. But yeah, I mean, that, that that's just a, you know, just a little detail. Seems like that's what I assumed the bonnet thing was for, at least. But yeah, I think that's great. Maybe the bonnet thing was just actually from, like, a, the GT model. I don't know. Actually, another couple of things. We can change the interior. So we can completely change this if we wanted to. In fact, that stone silver might match a bit better. So I'm going to go with that. And then this one changes. Oh, okay. Okay, I like that we have full control of the interior colours. That's nice. And also, I just want to check. <gasps> it does! It does! I forgot to check this earlier, and then I suddenly thought... Yeah! I mean, I kind of... They're, they're not supposed to go higher. <laughs> I mean, absolutely great if you're driving at night and want to illuminate the sky, I guess. <laughs> it's, just, it's just pointing up. But... I love that that's there. I guess that's probably just related to the limit in movement you're allowed inside of GTA from what's been coded of the, the pop-up light animation thing. So that's completely to be expected. But I love the fact that it can. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Very nice touch. I like that. Well, what have we got left? We've got paints, wheels, and potential drop. I don't really know what style I, I want to go for here because actually this is the style. I basically made a facelift model. Uh, yeah, there's the build. <laughs> so I'm just going to adapt this build to something else then just to see what we can get out of this. In fact, I'm going to now tweak this slightly. This is going to be the build as if Jeremy Clarkson had, had adapted his car more for the uh, the whole trip and maybe gone for some off-road wheels or something so i'll plonk those on there i'll go for the tried and tested matte uh i don't know desert tan perhaps i just like the idea that he would have completely adapted this to try and make this i mean this would probably fit more with like an africa special rather than a south america special but this is just what i'm gonna do for the build and then we'll get a v stancer and we'll get a tires We'll make those a bit bigger, and we'll make those a bit wider. 
And then we're going to have to uh, just get our height up here. I don't want to get it glitchy, so I'm not really going to change the height control too much. I'm going to do most of it just visual. The problem is, and this is, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, visual lowing basically just adjusts the chassis of the car, like this. Obviously, you can make it completely float in the air or completely sunk into the ground, and the physics will not change and the collisions won't change because the collisions are still assuming the car's like here. But when we change the actual height, this does actually change how the suspension works. This does actually make the car now properly like as if it is that high. And so the problem with that is it does start to affect the way that the game handles and controls the way it, it basically bugs if you make it too extreme. So that's why I'm just going to go for visual lowering and knock that up. And I'd say that's a pretty decent lift. And I don't think we really even need to bring these tyres out that much. But I will bring them out just slightly. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there is a off-road build. This is... I feel like this is the sort of thing that they would do if they were to do a Top Gear special. And they wanted to do these sort of mods. They would get some sort of... Actually, this is quite fast. I was surprised how fast that was as I was driving along. This is pretty quick, all tuned up. But yeah, I figured they'd probably go for some knobbly tyres, big wheels, jack up the suspension, and do something with the paint, like just spraying it with a, a matte desert tan, or they're trying to get like a camouflage look, or something like that, perhaps. I'm kind of thinking of the Z3 from the... I can't remember what special it was. I think it was the one where they went... It was the Christmas special, I think. Where they went through Syria and everything else like that. So I'm kind of applying that to this just without having the ability to do some sort of camouflage livery. Well, yeah, there's that first build done. Let me now try and do something a bit more me. And, well, here it is. I decided to go for a very classic metallic brown. Just because I feel like that just fits this car so perfectly. I've gone for this brown interior with cream tartan inserts as well. The, the thing is, I'm also thinking this is very sort of German. I know that a lot of people would have done very, I want to say very German things to it. What I mean by that is like if you go look at old pictures from Werthersee and places like that, like the Volkswagen crowd tuning stuff, this is the sort of thing that I would expect to see a 928 built as if you tried to build it like that. So I've gone for this sort of creamy style uh, face on these. I've also gone for these sort of Porsche twist but split rim style wheels because I figured that fits in with the car as well. And again, brown interior, cream tartan. I've gone for this spoiler on the back just to add a sporty edge. Chrome tips, got rid of the bumper things here. And on the front I just added a small splitter because I couldn't really add any painted stuff. And I went for the facelift model but without the, uh, the grill thing at the top here. Just these sort of extra grill bits here. And I think that this is absolutely perfect. I mean, the stance, you can, you know, maybe you'd consider that perhaps not right. The wheels, I have shrunk down for this, including making them even a little bit thinner, just because these come super deep dish. Maybe you disagree with the stance, but I think the overall vibe and ethos of this thing, browns and creams and everything else, I think suits this car absolutely perfectly. And actually, I am really loving this build. It's been a very creamy brown <laughs> build day, definitely. Earthy tones. I mean, enjoy this picture because it is just earthy tones. Yeah, but I like it. I like how it looks. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below. But I'm a big fan of this. This is instantly going into my big yes, do go download this list. Maybe I should do a tier list one day. Hmm. Let me know what you think. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.